to your Elevated Living Show. I am co-founder of Awake TV Network and your show host, Amanda Marie Masters. This is my introductory episode where you can learn about me, my story, how did I start up the network, and what will I be bringing to you this season? I have my dear friend and soul sister. She's also a part of the core Awake TV team, Miss Chris Alicia supporting me today uh, in the interview. She's going to be asking me questions to um, help guide the information and bring, so I can bring to you the, the most appropriate words I possibly can. How are you, Chris? I'm doing great. Good morning, how are you? I'm fantastic and I'm really excited. This has been a huge project in the making that's moved very quickly. And here we are getting ready for the big launch day as this is the introductory episode, uh, allowing people to understand more about what I'm about as well as the season of your Elevated Living show. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. Would you like to ask me a question? Yes. Uh, my first question is one of the most important things um, that I've learned about you is your awakening story. Uh, can you share with people what was your awakening moment? Ah, well, I've been an empath my entire life. Since I was a young child, I've always been sensitive to other people's feelings. I've always been the one that would try to stop bullying. Um, I felt other people's emotions without recognizing the greater purpose to that. Sometimes it was really difficult growing up, I could say, uh, where I would sacrifice myself to try to help others. Um, and my ultimate goal was always wanting to help others feel better. So that's been something that's been with me my entire life. Um, I could also sense things before they happened, like big events, like earthquakes and things growing up in the San Diego, California area. Um, and though I didn't know about spirituality and higher dimensions and all these wonderful things, it wasn't until 2010 where I was rear-ended in a car accident at 60 miles an hour. So I was stopped on the freeway and I was hit from behind at 60 miles an hour, which mm -hmm. ended up in pooling a fluid in multiple locations in my spinal cord. Uh, your cerebral fluid should move freely up and down the spinal cord, in and out of the brain stem, into the brain, and your spinal cord's porous, so it should be able to move in and out as well. Mine was literally stopped in multiple locations. And as a result, the neurosurgeons here said they didn't know what to do with me, literally. Um, they, had, they said that I should be paralyzed or in fact dead. At the time, I had three young children, eight, five, and two. And so this was not, this was not the information that I could manage, handle, or be okay with. Not an option. Uh, yeah, not an option. And they said, normally if you have pooling of fluid in one location, we do surgery and we drain the fluid from your spinal cord. Um, and you have it in multiple locations. So we do not necessarily know how to approach this. So they sent my records up to UCLA to one of the top neurosurgeons in the world. He wasn't necessarily sure, at, although he was recommending surgery. So, um, at the time, this was not good enough for me. Uh, I decided to turn to alternative healing methods. So it was an accident, it was a car accident that actually did knock me out briefly as well, that really shifted the way that I managed my body and my lifestyle. From that moment on, all I had was alternative healing really to heal my body as a system. So I began going to a holistic chiropractor who used muscle testing to determine what foods we, my body wanted to heal, begin healing itself as a system. I went to a cranial th sacral therapist to move the fluid up and down my spinal cord to really get the fluid moving again. Um, I went to a psychic medium here at a bookstore called Soulscape, a metaphysical bookstore, and she really helped me tremendously. She was my mentor, uh, Lynn Kay. She was phenomenal. And from the moment that I met her, she was saying stuff to me that there, would n there was no way she would know. It was about my childhood and my upbringing. And 
uh, my family members, you know, that she said she could see around me. And she said things that were so convincing. It was like, I had to believe her. Um, and I hadn't really experienced something to that degree before where someone was so accurate with information. There was no way that she would otherwise know uh, regarding my own personal history, et cetera. So she told me very clearly, you're at a fork in the road in your life. You can either take the medical route, which could end up in more surgeries and, and other issues, or you can take the alternative spiritual route, which is you're a, um, this is really your highest mission here. You have a much bigger purpose in your life. And you are now in this moment in time where it's like a fork in the road. And if you take this other alternative route, your life will change very dramatically for the better. So uh, listening to her, I started diving into the spiritual aspect of, of um, our world. And I started studying, you know, different things like Reiki and um, energy and how it works and energy healing and Really, I'm the type of person that really dives deep into things that I'm into. I become somewhat obsessive. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I also started working with an, uh, uh, what, what he described himself as a remote energy healer. So this is a gentleman that I was recommended to um, who's on the East Coast. And when we would speak by phone, we would talk about my childhood traumas and different things uh, going on that had gone on to move that energy while it felt like all, all up and down my back was like warmth and tingling. And he was really energetically moving blocks from my childhood while we were working on healing those things. So this is, these are things that I hadn't really experienced before that blew my mind. So six months down the road after starting the process of alternative healing and energy work and all these other things, and just experiencing one miracle uh, after another in my, within my own body, um, I went back to the neurosurgeon and he did an MRI on my spinal cord and he said, he came back into the room and he said, well, keep doing whatever you're doing because the fluid is dissipating dramatically. It is much smaller and it looks like it's going to completely heal. And I said, well, I'm doing this. I, I went to a medium, okay, I'll turn a healing. And he said, I see miracles every day in my work. So keep doing what you're doing because it works really, it's really working for you. So when I walked out of that office, there was this knowing that I had tapped into a world and understanding about the human body as a system. My own body had gone through the process of healing itself and, you know, working with these alternative methods of healing, um, there was so much more to understand and know about our world around us. Mm. And what I, I stepped into next was something called theta healing. And so I, I call it the deep end of spirituality because a theta brainwave state is that state between awake and sleep mm. where you are open to higher states of consciousness um, without even so much being aware of it. And so yogis and masters and people who meditate go into the theta brainwave state to expand and open their consciousness in the quantum. It's like opening your heart space and quieting the mind so that you are fully interacting in terms of higher consciousness with the quantum field around you. Um, so theta healing got me into the deep end of spirituality where I learned how to fully quiet my mind open my heart space and learn how my body works as a system to move the energy. Um, I then got into quantum physics and understanding that we are all energy. And then in the quantum field, we're really, our higher vibration is toroidal field of light. We are fields of light. We are organized fields of light and information that works as a system. And this system can always be, you know, energy, can always be moved or shifted. So when you understand that, no matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening, there's an opportunity for moving that energy. Either you feel it in the physical body in terms of pain or stress or sadness or anger, or different, different emotions or feelings that you project, or you can feel it um, in a more uh, energetic way. And so it's about move, being able to move that energy and flow that energy through the body and bring your uh, whole energy system into balance. So 
Learning that those methodologies early on, I, I really began religiously practicing uh, daily um, uh, meditation and different data healing meth methods so that I could continue to keep my um, consciousness open to the quantum and allow energy and higher dimensional uh, frequencies to come through and teach uh, flow through in terms of energy and information to teach me as well as share with others what's happening in their lives. So I began doing uh, what I called, um, I don't rem I even remember the, ter the exact term I used right now, but some form of energy healing sessions with people where I would work to balance their entire energy systems, all their chakras, um, pulling in the energy from the core of Mother Earth, what I call the core of Mother Earth, and down from creator space, and bringing that energy together to use them as a balanced field of light, um, a bridge of light between the higher dimensions and the core of Mother Earth. And in that, balancing their full energy system. When I did this, and I moved from chakra to chakra for cleansing, clearing, and balancing, I would get all this channeled information for them. So it would be, you know, um, what I call higher dimensional frequencies coming through or uh, angelic energies or uh, masters, or it could be loved ones, bringing them information about their lives, where they're going, where they've been and what's happening to help provide solutions and healing for their um, process moving forward. One thing I always tell people is you need to pay attention to what you're tuning into uh, when you are connecting into the quantum and there's, specific ways to ensure that you are in fact connecting into much higher dimensional uh, vibrational frequencies of energy and information because the information coming from the much higher dimensions are going to be it's going to be very um, solution oriented it's going to be very loving and compassionate it's going to gently steer you in a different direction from where you've been going or it's gonna provide you information of possibilities of where you could go um, and also what's currently happening. So it's, it's always, and it's relieving. What I've found with the, the information that comes from higher space is relieving to people. It's like this knowing, it's this truth they feel strong um, and, and um, allows them to, to be in resonance with what they're hearing. So I've done thousands of these sessions and different forms of channeling and stuff with people over the years, knowing that there is so much more out there for people to understand about themselves uh, as beings of light, as toroidal fields of energy than they may have previously known. Well, that's a description of the toroidal energy being so important, as well as your spine had blocked the flow of energy. Mm -hmm. It's just such a beautiful, not even a metaphor, just you saw the importance of keeping those things flowing and it right. became so important for your healing. Right. And I don't know if I've ever told you this, but people refer to you as brave, um, brave <laughs> in your opinions, brave in the information you share, but also brave on the medical field that you were able to decide on the spiritual path versus the traditional medicine. Mm. Just an incredible, incredible decision. And I want to say, you know, I still go to the doctor. I have three children, 16, 13, and 10. They still go to the doctor. This isn't to replace the medical field. And doctors are extremely important. Their work is extremely important. It's listening to your body. It's knowing what your, your body's always in tune with what's going on. Just like if someone says something that upsets you, you feel it immediately in the body. Your body is always, it's like an instrument that is always, uh, telling you exactly what's happening in your life. So, you know, um, so the doctor is not always correct. The doctor doesn't always know what's happening. And so they're doing the best they can. They're there in service. And though you have to sometimes question things and take it farther if necessary. There is so many alternative solutions to, you know, particular uh, methodologies with medicine, et cetera. And so, um, I don't want to, you know, say that I, oh, I don't go to a doctor. That's ridiculous. I go to a doctor for all sorts of regular things. However, this was one of those times where it was like, no one's draining my cerebral fluid. 
right? No one's draining. I need my cerebral fluid. We just need to figure out how to get it moving. I just, it was this knowing, you know, it just, it wasn't okay. It wasn't, it didn't feel right in the body. What they were telling me didn't feel right. And they were telling me that I could, even though I wasn't paralyzed at the time, they were saying things like, well, we don't know what your future holds. You could become paralyzed and, and this could end in death. They told me that I could die with three young children. I just, I, I, I couldn't, it was not okay to succumb to this information or to, um, you know, I had to find an alternative method for my life. And if I had done all those other things and it had still ended up, you know, I had become paralyzed or, or passed, then that was my, then that was my path. And I could accept the fact that I had done everything I can for my being and for my children and for my future. And so that's the way I look at it. You know, I, I don't want people to think that, oh, don't go to that. I mean, I, I have a doctor, I, you know, I use Western Mess and I go to the dentist. I, you know, so, um, and all those things are also very important. It's adhering to what is in resonance with you and what is in resonance is going to feel relieving it's going to feel peaceful it's going to feel like this knowing that you're doing the right thing so i was exhausting all possibilities in terms of my potential to heal as a system and i wasn't someone who previously had uh been into alternative medicines and, and technologies and stuff like that i i really wasn't i was living a pretty western lifestyle project manager at a local our, our local utility company you know just a mom with three kids doing her thing and who has had been curious about spirituality and read about it and you know just here you know but not full on it wasn't like uh, you know i know about my body's system and i'm gonna heal it wasn't like that at all I was, I was, uh, I had a fork in the road, as Lynn Kay put it. And I also want to mention um, Alex Rohr, who was my Theta, Theta Healing Practitioner. She was my Theta Master, that's what they're called, who really opened my world to my own the gifts and abilities way beyond the here and now. Everyone is gifted in intuition. We are all connected to the quantum. And you can look at it in a, as a more in a more scientific way, as that we are all uh, energy in the quantum field of energy, which is shown even in regular uh, science nowadays, quantum physics. Um, you can look at it from that perspective as being energy. You're in constant motion. Your entire body as a system is constant motion with an electromagnetic field around you. Um, or you can take a more spiritual route and you're connecting to these higher vibrations as being a part of the quantum. You're connecting into information and energies and guides and, and these beings that are around us to support us. They're just in a different vibration than we are, so we cannot see them. So, um, so how did you, how did you find that you could do that? Say that again? Say, uh, how did you learn that you were this master channeler? How did you build that skill? Uh -huh. uh, um, obsessive, <laughs> obs obsessive practice. Yeah. Uh, everyone, I, like I said, has the ability to connect um, and bring through intuition however they do that. People do it every day and they don't realize what they're doing. Um, a lot of times you can say you all of a sudden you come through with amazing advice for your friend or a loved one or someone's about to call and then you know they're going to call and then the phone rings or you think about someone and then the phone rings. You know, we're all connected in, into the quantum. Um, and for me, it was just practice. I was first practicing on all my friends. Um, <laughs> I was using them as... Um, What's the word? They they were my uh, guinea pigs. They were my guinea pigs, right? For for what my what I was developing and honing, and then I opened a, a practice where I was working on patients and the consistency 
of the shift in their lives. And, and also I would bring through things about what was going to happen uh, in their lives. And it's all, again, very gentle, very compassionate, you know, solution oriented information. Um, and sure enough, some of these things that I would talk about, they're like, I don't even know how that would be happening. And they call me six months later, a year later, and you're like, you're not, you know, and they say, you're not going to believe what I'm doing now and how it's happened. Um, so, it would, you know, just practice, practice in terms of trusting the information that comes through. That's probably the biggest thing with people is not trusting what they get. Right. You're like, well, I don't know if that's right. And it's very scary for a while. You know, it was very scary for me to bring through information for people and to trust it. Yeah. Right. So um, I went through that process of, of um, being a fear of trusting, I guess. Uh, you know, you go, you move through different phases of, of um, understanding that this is truth and knowing and the biggest thing that happened for me was just the reinforcement again and again and again that the information was correct. Um, and so through that, it's, I built more trust and connection and really practice day in and day out. Automat something called automatic writing, a lot of automatic writing, developing um, uh, methodologies for myself throughout my day to keep myself in balance, to keep my energy in balance to keep myself uh, open to, you know, what I call messages and information coming through. Um, so it's been a combination of many things over the years that have really pushed me to this next space of knowing and understanding. <clears throat> I've been working with you myself, the messages you bring forward, and I don't know what the auto quality is doing here. I can hear it ringing, but <laughs> the messages that you give are so, they're profound because you hadn't thought in that direction before. You bring a scientific element into it that I think a lot of spiritual people <clears throat> aren't exposed to. Mm. But when you say something like, look into sacred geometry, it's going to be important for you. Um, it's like a light bulb going off. So how did you get introduced to the science side of spirit versus just mm. the healing side? Mm. Um, I, I'm... You know, I like to dissect all aspects of what's happening in my world. So I've always been very inquisitive that way. Mm -hmm. And so beyond just the trusting or knowing, I wanted to understand the science behind things. Because what I tell people who are unsure about, you know, higher dimensional energies and different uh, alternative frequencies, higher frequencies of energy that uh, feel good in the physical body, like love and compassion and connectedness and peace and harmony, all those things feel in resonance with the physical body. These are all frequencies that are, are, that are around us. Mm -hmm. um, loved ones that have passed that are now in other frequencies of energy are around us. They, we just can't see them. And what I tell people is we've agreed as a collective consciousness that there are microwaves, there are radio waves, there's electricity. We all plug into electricity, yet you can't see it. We have agreed that these things exist. And so everyone says, yeah, but you can't see it. When you tune the radio dial, you get different frequencies of energy coming into the radio and you can hear people speaking or you can hear music or whatever's currently going on. That's a specific frequency of energy or specific frequencies of energy. There are other frequencies of energy that support us, that are around us. And so it's a, it, there, is a, there is a science to this and, and the quantum field of energy, quantum physics shows that everything is interconnected, that on the most microscopic, minute levels, um, there are uh, quantum particles that are in constant motion and movement. And so on the, on the most subatomic levels, we are actually vibrational fields of light moving like this as a system. And we are connected to the quantum that is the system. So everything's really interconnected um, just, just in different frequencies of energy. So I got into the science of it, understanding that there's an electromagnetic field around our bodies. That's why when someone comes close to you, either you want them closer or you're like, get the hell away, right? It's not a comfortable feeling. You're like, okay, back off. Or, um, it, you know, uh, there's an electromagnetic field that we know that's around the earth. 
And part of that electromagnetic field is called the Schumann resonance. And the Schumann resonance, when that raises in frequency, what scientists talk about is everything else in, on, and around the Earth raises in vibrational frequency. This is fact. This is science. We're talking about vibration. We're not talking about, you know, uh, connecting with higher energies like angels and masters. This is actual science. And what it shows when the Schumann resonance raises in frequency, uh, our cells are vibrating at a higher, at a different frequency, our bodies, the animals, everything on the planet. So scientists right now, because the Schumann resonance, for example, has been reaching peaks of vibration higher than they've seen before and staying at these levels, they're studying what ha what's happening to us as a species as well as other animals on this planet. Um, and I can tell you, because we're made of 80% water, that vibration, that uh, water is a huge conductor of electricity, that vibration changes the state of resonance within our body and around us. And the vibrational frequency, like in water, okay, there's, we're made of 80% water. When it vibrates at a higher level, <clears throat> it creates these, if there's resonance in the body, it creates these crystalline shapes and structures. And it, and it can reformat the DNA. The DNA, the myelin sheath around the DNA is made of hydrogen oxygen molecules. So it becomes, you know, epigen epigenetic in nature. It can, it's malleable, the DNA. There's so many different things that change within us with these vibrational frequencies. Hence the awakening on the planet that's happening right now. People are awakening in droves. We feel like we are in chaos around the world right now. And, and, and there is this major element of chaos because we're changing. Things are shifting. And people are kind of freaking out. They don't understand why they feel different, why the things that have been happening in their lives for 20 years, 30 years, now no longer is okay. They're questioning things. They're questioning things about their job, their relationships, their lifestyle, their health, that they hadn't really necessarily considered previously or understood. And around the world, people are erupting to stand up for what they believe in. They are, they're feeling now more than ever that uh, what used to be called, what I call the comfort zone uh, for people, we used to consider the comfort zone the space of non-change, where we kind of live within these boundaries and we don't want to move outside of these boundaries because we know these boundaries. And even if it's extremely uncomfortable, even if it's horrible and you're suffering, you still are not wanting to move. Okay, this comfort zone now feels like the briar patch. People feel like they're laying in a freaking briar patch and they cannot tolerate it anymore. Hence the awakening experience. They are seeking energy, information, and knowledge beyond their current state or paradigm of consciousness. They're here. They want to get here. They want to find purpose in their life. They want to find love. They want to feel freaking good. They want to feel happy. They want to feel balanced. They want to have the sense of freedom and peace and not feel like they are just another number in the cog, you know, uh, just another number in the machine. So it's just, it's, it's this shift in consciousness that's happening globally, hence the awakening and awake TV. Mm. Um, this is how this network was born in a sense, is this need for people to find new energy information and tools to help them in the awakening experience and also help them understand they're not crazy, that there's people that are in this shift all over the world. Um, mm -hmm. And that's one of the main reasons for this network. Um, as the co-founder of this network, uh, my partner slash business partner, John and I, uh, really felt the need to bring people together to, to teach and to share what they've learned to, through authenticity, through their stories, how they come, out, come up with these tools or what I call different access points for uh, living a healthier lifestyle, for living a, a more balanced lifestyle, for understanding how to connect in with your own um, higher dimensional self and as a uh, divine being of light, shall we say. Um, the people on this network come from all different access points. There's, you know, business coaches, life coaches, uh, metaphysicians, um, mediums, uh, psychic mediums, uh, nutritional coaches, physical therapists, you, you name it, um, scientists, 
quantum physicists, mm -hmm. geneticists. We have all different people with different skill sets that are bringing through energy and information from their access points to help you however they can, whatever you resonate with, so that you feel connected, so that you feel you're a part of a community, and that there are alternative solutions to your current paradigm of living, which can sometimes feel like you're being boxed in. And, and what else is there out there? This is a positive oriented network. This is all about bringing more love and light to the planet, helping raise the vibrational frequency of consciousness on this planet and allow people to recognize that they are enough, that they are part of this quantum energy, that they are beings of light, that they, they do deserve love. And that ultimately how you feel about yourself, how you feel about, you know, how much you love yourself impacts everything in your reality, everything in your world. A lot more people are learning about mindset, for example, what you think you create. So your subconscious mind, for example, forms your habits, which is your daily routine of everything you're doing, thinking the way you operate. The way you think generates your emotions and your feelings, which ultimately project your reality. You could have the most, you could have everything you could possibly think of in the world, or you could be living very comfortably, for example, financially, and you could be totally miserable mm -hmm. because there's an aspect of you that does not love and accept yourself for who you are, does not understand that you are loved by Mother Gaia, you know, and the beings around you, the higher dimensions, that you are connected, that you are okay, that you are enough. And so it's learning how to love yourself unconditionally. And from that space, your entire world can shift pretty rapidly. You can start uh, operating from a different space, um, understanding that you are connected and that uh, how you feel about yourself impacts your entire reality. Um, so that's really the core of the network and why we started this thing. My, my partner, John, really bored the idea of, of starting a network and, and forming a, a corporation. Um, and from that space, we began coming up with ideas. This network, Awake TV Network, has its own energy. It has its own destiny. And what I like to say is we are all shepherding, all the teachers becoming involved in this network. We're completely global. Uh, we have teachers coming to, to find out about the network and want to be a part of this thing from all parts of the world, every continent on this planet. And it's one of those things where we are shepherding this energy as it expands. We are using the existing infrastructure in place to bring higher vibrational energies and frequencies to the planet of love and and acceptance and connectedness and community so that people can feel good they can feel good about themselves they can they can examine their lives in a different way than they ever have before and gain tools of shift and knowledge you know this is about um bringing uh solution oriented information versus strife and separation this is about feeling connected to others that are also in the shift as, as you are um, and being able to um, share stories and hear the authenticity of others in their awakening experience. When we are going through such rapid changes we are now, it's not always easy and it's not always comfortable. I like to, um, I liken it to when you move, when you're moving for let's say from one home to another it is chaos. It's organized chaos, hopefully, but it's still chaos. You have to pack up in the old house. You have to pack up everything. You have to decide what you're going to keep, what you're not going to keep. You go through old memories, thoughts. You shift stuff from the old. You release old stuff that had happened to you. You know, as you you know clear out the old, you have to clean everything up. Then you move to the new space. There's chaos in the move. Sometimes things don't always go exactly as as planned. You move to the new space. Then you've got to unpack everything. You've got to figure out where everything goes. You've got to meet your neighbors, uh, get acclimated to your neighborhood. Where's the store? Where's this? Where's that? There's this chaos in your life. 
where you're not fully grounded for a period of time. That's what the world is in right now. And I can tell everyone that's, that's listening to this, this chaos is to support us in moving to higher vibrational consciousness living, to live more connected versus separate, to live more um, understanding of others and, and, and our surroundings and loving ourselves as well as others versus, you know, fear-based thinking, strife, anger, all those things that we hear in the news that is all about sensation and uh, bringing forward drama to grab our, to grab our, um, our, our nervous systems and rattle us. You know, people get addicted to the adrenaline when they watch the news and yet you have no control over most of the time. You don't have a lot of control over what you're seeing and hearing about and you're getting an adrenaline rush off of the suffering of others or major things that are happening in the world. And for those people that are experiencing suffering and, and human suffering or parts of the world that are in war and strife, it is about being able to find your own center and being able to come from that space and, and to seek solutions, to shift consciousness from higher vibrational perspective and move energy, raise the frequency of, of consciousness through things like meditation. They've, you know, it's also shown scientifically that when people meditate together in mass or when people connect in these higher vibrational energies, like I'm talking about in mass, things change. You know, the vibrational frequency changes. They, they can measure these things. Um, and it really helps people tremendously. So uh, Awake TV Network is all about coming together as a community and supporting uh, our rapid changing uh, consciousness here on the planet and allowing a space for people to feel safe and wanting to learn how to shift their lives. Um, we have teachers from all over the world, such as yourself. You are someone who I find is just brilliant. You have, you have married the three, what I call the 3D world and beyond in your own mastery. You look at the mathematics and the science aspect and come up with the patterns in our, in our physical world and how it relates to the higher dimensional aspects of who and what we are. And you, as you are learning and integrating those things, you are willing and wanting to teach others, which I think is, is absolutely fabulous. Now, can you tell us a little bit about why the live what you what your thoughts were behind making these live shows yeah so awake tv network is a live show network that is going to be running live shows at least eight hours a day seven days a week our teachers are 100 percent global so it'll be all different times of the day i have teachers from new zealand australia um, sri lanka africa india um, China, Japan, uh, South America, Canada, United States, uh, European countries. I mean, so many parts of the world, uh, teachers are uh, participating in this live. Um, each teacher will have their own weekly show so you can get to know each teacher. Um, and the live aspect of this network, and we will be streaming, by the way, 24-7. So even if every show isn't gonna be live, even the other show, the shows will be replaying. So we will be streaming 24 seven. Um, and we will have at least eight hours a day of live shows and that'll be increasing. The purpose of the live stream, the purpose of the live show is so that people can connect with the teacher live. They can develop a connection and relationship with the teacher, feel like they can, um, they become active participants versus just passive viewers watching. We're gonna allow for interactivity. So like a Facebook Live or YouTube Live, et cetera, you can comment, you can ask questions, you can talk about how you're feeling, what's going on. And if the teacher's inclined, they can interact and, and uh, answer your questions, et cetera. Um, the point is you are building community. You're communicating with other people on the live stream. You're communicating with the teacher, going back and forth and the opportunity to become activated, to feel as a, to, to experience the, the um, connection 
into what I call the collective consciousness, the unity consciousness, the unified field of consciousness. When you connect into that space in the live experience with others, you are in a uh, open, your, your heart space becomes more open and it allows you to become what I call activated, uh, uh, resonating at higher vibrational frequencies. That changes what's happening within you bringing you into more coherence, uh, changes what's happening around you because energy can neither be created nor destroyed. And when, when many people are tuning into a live show from around the world at one time, at the same time, that makes for um, these frequencies of energy connecting in to one unified field, uh, supporting the raising of consciousness around our planet simultaneously. So the adherence to live shows with interactivity offers an opportunity for us to use existing infrastructure to raise vibrational consciousness on this planet and to bring more love and connectedness and um, you know, compassion for one another across the planet on a massive scale. People tuning into the replay too will be plugging into that same vibrational energy and you can still you know, comment on the replays and that kind of thing. So um, it's all about raising the vibrational frequency, uh, ultimately of consciousness on the planet, bringing more light to the planet, using our bodies as, as vehicles of light um, to expand consciousness, to um, be in community with others ultimately. And uh, I'm in deep gratitude for the formation of this network. Uh, we are going to have uh, phone apps for Awake TV Network, um, as well as soon enough, maybe by the time some people watch this, we will have uh, the Awake TV apps on you know, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, so that you can watch this on your TV. It is all about activating you, getting you to um, look at your own life and, and look at where you're ready to shift things in your own life and provide you tools to help you in no matter what aspect of your life you're in. It doesn't matter ethnicity, ethnicity, age, male or female, um, background. It's about bringing people together in oneness and allowing you to see in your life where you'd like to, um, I don't know, bring more peace into your life, bring more harmony. I think right now more than ever, freedom, I think is at the top of the list. What does it mean to feel free? What does it mean to bring freedom into your life? To me, freedom means that you are free to decide in every moment what is in your highest and best interest. Freedom is this feeling of uh, knowing that you are not um, fully controlled by outside influences or your outside environment. What you learn through the process of uh, uh, accessing your own higher states of consciousness and your own awakening experience, what you recognize is that everything is within you. This isn't about the environment controlling you fully. This is how you can become more in control of your own life through um, self-recognition and self-love and other things to then impact your environment and find solutions in a different and new format. Mm -hmm. So that's really the highest purpose uh, of, of Awake TV. Um, we have so many teachers from around the world coming. Like I said, it's going to be metaphysics, um, science and spirituality, health, wellness, and nutrition, so living a really healthy lifestyle, foods and uh, exercise and all sorts of things like that. Um, conscious parenting, the kids that are being born on this planet now are being born, they're different. You know, the Z generation is different. They, they're born with their hearts open and their, their crown chakras open, and, and they are here to uh, change our current paradigm of living. They're here to challenge it so that we do uh, live in a world that is more accepting um, of one another and non-judgmental. Um, we are targeting all four generations, uh, baby boomers, X generation, uh, uh, 
millennials and, and Z generation. So we're targeting all four generations. We have teachers coming on this network from all these generations um, to, to speak to um, the globe, the world from their access point, what I call their access point. Um, all the teachers coming on are experts. They are at the highest level in their fields you know, um, many are, um, you know, best-selling authors and speakers, and they've been doing this for 20, 30, 40 years. And then we have people who have not been doing this for so many years, and yet they are awakened, and they want to share their tools, and they are, um, their souls have said yes a long time ago to this mission, and, and really helping others uh, in their awakening experience. So, for my own show, which is this, it was supposed to be the majority of this introductory video, which is fantastic. This is flowed exactly how it's supposed to. I am going to have a show on the Wake TV network. It's called the Elevated Living Show. And what I'm going to bring forward is I'm going to be doing channeling, I'm going to be doing meditations, and I'm going to be teaching you how to live a balanced life every day of your life. Um, I provide a lot of tools for people. For example, routine that you can do in the morning and when you go to sleep that'll help keep your energy in balance throughout the day. It is about raising your own vibrational frequency. It is about bringing uh, more love, self-love uh, into your life, um, as well as understanding how we are multidimensional beings now functioning uh, on this planet. Things are shifting. Uh, energetically. So Elevated Living Show is exactly that. It's about living a lifestyle um, more multidimensional in nature. And for those of you that don't understand necessarily what that means right now, I'll be teaching a lot about the scientific aspect in terms of frequency, what that means. And I'll be teaching you tools that you can use in your daily life to reduce stress, to bring yourself into balance, to uh, support you in feeling more self-love, um, connected um, and um, energetically bring yourself into balance you know it's understanding that you are in control of your life and your environment when you learn things like setting intentions and sitting in those vibrations of the intention let's let's say what something you want to bring into your life you feel it and experiencing it experience it now that draws that energy to you that that vibration is then attracted to you and the more that you put yourself in the space that space and understand that you actually have control over a lot of aspects of your environment it shifts the way that you function in your life um it makes a huge difference because a lot of times people wake up and the typical thing for example when you first wake up in the morning is to grab your phone and for example, and to start looking at the news or whatever's going on, and, you, and as soon as you wake up, you start, you know, the monkey mind, I call it, or the hamster wheel starts going through the thoughts, things you need to get done. And you allow the world to control how you're going to feel. Mm -hmm. You can actually take control of that by developing a routine in the morning, for example, that can include stretching or running and meditation without allowing the environment to impact how you feel before you get going for the day. In that process of doing this type of routine, for example, you can set intentions for how you want your day to go. And with that mindset, it really shifts what you're focusing on throughout the day. There's, there's a lot more to get into. Um, and so for my 12 episodes of the Elevated Living Show, that'll be really be the focus of what I'll be bringing. And what time can we watch your show? It's 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, on Saturdays. So this, we are completely global. So this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, at a different time uh, based on where obviously where you're at in the world. But if you look at Pacific Standard Time, 9 a.m. or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the United States, um, that'll be the time that the show uh, will go. So my last question for you, tell us about the launch palooza or bonanza or whatever. <laughs> tell oh us my gosh. Too. Yeah, we are so excited. I mean, some of you will be seeing this after our launch. We are launching 11.11 11 
2019. There's it's a it's an energetic gateway or portal. Um, and for this network specifically and its purpose, it's, it's the best date I think that we could be launching on um, for so many different reasons. And this this 48 hour launch of Palooza or Bonanza is is because 1111 in Australia and New Zealand will be the the day before it is it's here in the United States. So we're going to begin the 1111 launch of Palooza. Um, <laughs> with our uh, with our uh our folks on the other side of the planet we're going to begin that process uh, over there on their 11 11 and then make our way to the united states i won't be sleeping for about 48 hours so <laughs> as a co-founder of this network i will not be sleeping for probably at least 48 hours but that's okay that's okay this is about uh shifting consciousness through how about this? This is about shifting consciousness through the existing infrastructure. That's what I'm so excited about. We didn't have to invent something new, although, as you know, it took us a while to find the right platform to use to, to create a standalone network. We're gonna be like a Netflix. We're gonna, it's gonna feel like a Netflix. It's a standalone network, like with, you know, the Awake TV apps, like you have the Netflix app or, or Gaia. What, the, what uh, makes us different is that the live TV network feel. No one has ever done this before as a standalone network, where not only is it a live uh, show network 24 seven, but in addition, you can interact with teachers. You can actually, you know, connect with the teachers and develop relationships with the teachers. And so that's a totally different experience than like watching a documentary on TV with no community or connection after and stuff like that or watching a live show but you can't connect with the person that's running the live show there's no way to connect with the community that's watching the same live show this is total interactivity at the scale of like a netflix so um we are really really excited to be doing it, the first to do this around the world as awake tv network and where can people find what's that yeah, what sites are they on so people can come in and find us? Go to awaketvnetwork.com. Awaketvnetwork.com is where you will find us. And uh, very soon here, we will have the Awake TV Network phone apps. So uh, that'll be coming soon. But Launch a Palooza 11-11-2019 will be going to awaketvnetwork.com. You will find us there sign up, get started, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Yes, absolutely. Amanda, you are a beautiful, beautiful soul. Um, as one of the teachers, all I can say is thank you for bringing this opportunity to us. Mm. You said it at the beginning, we're all energy and we're all connected. Uh, and this is a beautiful step in the shift. So thank you. Thank you so much for being our shepherdess. You're welcome. And like I said, this is for everybody male, female, ethnicity, whatever your access point is in the world, whatever age you are, there will be something on this network for you. If you want to feel good, if you want to change aspects of your life, that's what this is all about. It's about experiencing community. And you, Ms. Chris, thank you as a, as a veteran of the United States of America, putting yourself on the line, your husband putting himself on the line, you know, the, the whole experience of, um, being a veteran here and uh, now uh, stepping into this world, you're going to be doing a lot of stuff for veterans in this country. We might inspire people to do stuff for, for veterans in their countries. Um, so, you know, the veterans in this country go through a lot uh, when they come back uh, while they're away. Of course, so many different things happen when they're putting their lives on the line. And then when they come back to to the lifestyle here um, and it doesn't always feel like they're fully supported I know that and so uh, I'm excited about you know supporting veterans on this network as well and their communities um, and helping them find tools that may they may not have previously used or understood to help them in their lives and help their families I'm excited about that me too that, so thank you for your service my dear Thank you. The exclusivity that's going to be a part of this network, we really can't, um, we can't say enough about it. 
And I just want to put out a plea to whoever sees this, if you have any ideas um, about documentaries and reaching communities that are forgotten, um, mm. this is a shift for all of us. Mm. Uh, so please go to the Facebook page, uh, Wake TV Network, join the supporter group, post your ideas, get involved in any way that you can. Because um, it is a movement. It is a movement, honey. Yes, global. It's 100% global. It's so fabulous. This is something that has organically happened. I mean, it's really, we're all shepherding this energy together. I did not even know how teachers would be coming in and from all over the world, every continent, these beautiful souls wanting to be a part of this, knowing that, understanding the greater mission here and, and service. Mm -hmm. And we are, we're also tithing at least 10% of our revenue monthly uh, we want to give back to organizations, people on the ground, uh, helping people in communities um, all over the world uh, monthly. That's extremely important to us as well. So we're all in this together, this shift. So Absolutely. thank you so much, Miss Chris, for um, being my interviewer for the show today. I really appreciate you. Um, and I'm so excited to be with you on this journey. And then deep, deep gratitude for all your support and work on the network. I also want to give a shout out to Miss Danielle Moriti. Um, she's my director of operations, and this woman is a gift to the world. She has done all of our uh, stunning graphics and building our site and everything else. She is an absolute gem and gift, and I am so thankful that she's on this journey and that her she's on this mission with all of us, as well as the rest of the wake core team and of course most importantly my partner slash business partner John who I adore and love um, this has been quite an introductory video um, thank you so much Chris for putting this together with me and I'm excited that this is the start of our journey here I look forward to seeing all of you on 11 11 2019 wherever you are around the world take care thank you <laughs>